Well, Umut, congratulations on a good win today. Firstly, how do you feel about your performance today? I played, I played, no, let's say normal, but happy to, to win 4-0. Yeah, yeah. And this is your fourth time playing in Q School. What made you decide to come here and play in Q School? Because I want to turn professional. And uh, yeah, it's like, it's the fourth time now. It's uh, during the pandemic, it was a bit tough to uh, practice and play. But now I, I just finished my work and I focus all on snooker now. And you come over here every year from Germany to play. How much of a commitment is that for you? I just made the apprenticeship at Mercedes. I finished it like in February. So now I have, uh, now I have like, I'm playing full-time snooker. Before I always had to like, um, it was tough because you only have like 30 days, uh, holidays in Germany when you work. So Q school is about three weeks. So it's all of your, all of your vacation gone really in one tournament. Yeah. Uh, is it your dream to be a professional snooker player? Yeah, let's say not a dream because the dream is to go further when like after turning professional so it's the it's kind of like the first step yeah what, what is your dream ultimately in snooker to become top 16 player one day yeah. and and you believe this is this is the first step and then you have um, uh, a lot of steps to, uh, after that you believe you can do it yeah i guess it's like first step would be to turn professional the second would be probably to move to uk because i have no um no good practice partners in Germany and uh, yeah, that, that would be the next step and then try to climb up the rankings. And we've seen in recent years, Lucas Kleckers and Simon Lichtenberg playing on the professional tour. Have they inspired you or have they given you some advice? Yeah, they've been always a friend of mine, um, but, but we are not really in a, like, they're far away from me. So we see each other only at the German tournaments, like the German tour, and also really rarely because they're always in, in, the, in the World Snooker events. And when you come and play here at Q School, what's it like how they're playing the matches? Is there a lot of pressure? Yeah, it is. Like, usually you have, like, in the second round, you get an ex-pro or, like, uh, like, a really good amateur. So it's uh, pressure on every on every round really, on every match, so you just try to get a good run and yeah. That. And is it about the uh, your mental attitude as much as your as your game? I, I'm mentally strong at the moment because I, I, pre, I play full-time snooker, so it's it's a different like when you work and play snooker and try to become professional, so yeah. Mm -hmm. How did you start playing snooker to start with? Actually, my father ran a snooker club in Germany and uh, at 12 or 13, he brought me with him, like before also when I was younger, but I was not interested in playing snooker. So yeah, but, but when I was 12 or 13, I went to the snooker club and uh, it, it just was, uh, then it just started. I start playing often, like every week and then every day. Yeah. yeah. And it's a game that once you start playing, you never want to stop, right? Yeah, yeah. right, right. Yeah. So I play since nine years now, and I, I can't imagine, like, ev even if it's not going to happen, like with the Q school, to stop playing snooker forever. Yeah. Great. Well, it's great to see you doing yeah. well here, and Thank we you. wish you all the best. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.